Alrighty guys, got the 05 Nissan Altima, 2.5 liter. We're gonna go ahead and change out the catalytic converter one and two today. Uh, we did replace the O2 sensors and my engine light came back on. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the catalytic converter one and number two down below as well. Uh, first we'll go ahead and disconnect the batteries since we will be unplugging our O2 sensors. Uh, 10 millimeter bolt for mine on the negative. Go ahead and remove this cover up here. Just four Allen bolts, one, two, three, four. Remove this cover, and then we'll get back to you. All right, next we're gonna take this cover off, which I did last night because I sprayed some, some of these bolts. I'll show you which ones I did. Uh, my 10 millimeter socket here. There's a bolt here, one right here, and there was a fourth one that mine broke, but I'm not too worried about it because I'm. Obviously, it's just going to get replaced today anyways. Um, we'll take those four out, and we'll take the seat cover off, and then we'll take the uh, O2 sensor out as well once we get that cover off. Uh, so the screws that we had sprayed, that I sprayed last night, we got one here on the bottom right, two up here on the top, one, two. You got one behind the alternator, and then one right there as well. Like I said, I sprayed those last night, so hopefully they'll break loose a little easier than they typically do. Next, we'll go ahead and take off this O2 sensor just to get it out of the way. And then we'll work on having to move the alternator out of the way as well to be able to get to that bottom left screw as well. All right, guys, we got our O2, our O2 sensor socket here. You kind of bend this wire at the end of the O2 that way a little bit helps get this slide on a little easier like that and I've already kind of broken loose so now I can go ahead and just spin it in my hand and I'll get off so I'll unplug this up here our clip that way I can spin this wire without twisting or breaking any of that wire so I remove our clip and just pop this up right here like so and then just pull that out and then this just slides forward off of the little groove Take, to get this off your O2 sensor off the harn the bracket, take a little needle nose or a little pick, pull it forward. As you see, there's a little hole there. It's actually got, it's sitting on that little divot right there. So you can't just pull it out and it comes off. You kind of got to pry that back a little bit and then slide it up at the same time. That way now we can go ahead and take our O2 sensor out all the way without breaking the wire or anything like that. All right guys, now we're gonna take the alternator. We need, again, we need to get out of our way because we got one bolt back here we need to get to, which we're not gonna be able to get to with the alternator on there. So we'll go ahead and take that off. First, we'll take off this bolt here for our positive, which is a 12 millimeter bolt right here. And then our uh, little plug-in right here, this one right here. We'll push that in and take that out. And then our pulley be down there i'll probably have to get it from the bottom show you a better angle to be able to loosen the belt take the belt off and slide the alternate uh, then we got a bolt here and one right down there two bolts for the alternator and then we can get that out of our way all right you guys we got our two bolts um, i got them loose looser i got the bottom one almost out see it's actually hitting the bottom of this fuse box I'm gonna have to take a 10 millimeter socket here take that bolt out and kind of lift up not a, we're not taking it all the way out just enough to clear that bolt um, just not enough clearance to get it out yet because of the fuse box right here again 10 millimeter bolt lift it just a little bit not enough to pull any wires or anything past that and then you can slide that bolt out of the way and to get this fuse box out of the way to get clearance of the bolt you actually got to move your reservoir coolant reservoir out of the way because your fuse box is right here you have a 10 millimeter bolt right there and right there as well i moved them already um, once that comes up i'm not going to disconnect anything just be careful you don't disconnect your hose there just kind of slide it out of the way for you and then we'll be able to hopefully now slide this up a little bit and get that bolt out of there Alrighty guys, we got the coolant reservoir out of the way. We got the fuse box out of the way. 
Unfortunately, you gotta actually move the food fuse box bracket because that's actually what the bolt is hitting, which is gonna be two 12 millimeter socket uh, bolts right here, one here and then one here. Now we're gonna go ahead and break the uh, pulley belt here. It's 14 millimeter and push it down on it that way and be able to break the belt here. Just make sure you remember how your belt goes on. You don't wanna put it on backwards or anything. We're just gonna loosen it to get our alternator off pull it out of the way and then we can get to our catalytic converter one job all right guys we got the belt off alternator's loose we just had to kind of move, move these wires to the front that way we can just slide our alternator down and out of the way should come off Gotta wiggle with it, give her some love. And voila. That's how you change your alternator right there. Even though that's not the video we're doing, that's how you do it. All right guys, now that we're to here, we can now remove our five 9 16 bolts, five of them. One, two, three. Oh. Four down in here, and five right here on the right corner. We'll go ahead and get those loosened and taken off. All right, you guys, we had to use a little breaker bar. What? We got all five of these off. One, two, three, four, and five. All it is is just a nut that comes off. Okay. Now we'll go down below and get these two down here off. Off these spring ones. Same size as up top. All right, guys. We got one down, one that came off really easier. This one started twisting up on the, on me, so we had to just end up cutting the thing off, which is fine, um, as long as you, the new one you ordered came with new hardware, which mine did, so I just had to cut it off. Um, and then there's one more bolt right here, same size, the 916, so you gotta take off. And then as you can see, I've kind of loosened it, and that'll give us freedom and to remove this Cat 1 to go up from the top of the engine bay. And we'll get to that. Let me get this off, and then we'll uh, take the cat out. All right, guys. Now that I've got that loose, pull forward, and then this should just come straight on up, like so. One hand to do it. Completely out. We'll replace that gasket as well. All right, guys. Now we're gonna work, make our way to cat number two. We got two bolts there. One on the left and one on the right. And then our hanger, the rubber hanger that it goes into is right there. We'll get those worked out. Get that removed, that removed. Get this pipe out of there. And then we'll get everything reconnected. Alright guys. Got cat number two out. Uh, don't forget to take your O2 sensor out either. Uh, have to take that out before you want to screw everything. That way you can get a little bit of leverage on there and take it out. This just literally slid right out for me. I had no problems with that at all. Got the new one ready to go. I put it side by side and it's gonna fit, it's gonna work, gonna do the job. I'll go ahead and put it back up, put it back together. Alrighty guys, we got the bottom, the cat number two connected on the back end wise to the muffler, going to the muffler. And then in the hanger just slides in. Make sure you put that gasket in there. And then we're working our way to the front. Uh, we haven't tightened everything up. We're making sure everything fits correctly and lines up correctly before we tighten it all up and we have problems, so. Next, we'll get down to the bottom. Um, in between the, our cat number one and the pipes of cat number two, make sure you put your donut gasket in there. And then we'll tighten those ones up and then we'll come and we'll tighten up the top. I've already got it sitting on there, but it's, I don't have any bolts or anything. It's just loose right now and then we'll start putting her back together. Alrighty guys, we got our Titan back up. Heat cover back on, cover back on. All my tools cleaned up, out of the way. Fuse box back on, coolant reservoir back in, battery connected. Hopefully that'll clear my O2 code. I actually looked into my cat number one. It looks pretty. I don't know if y'all would be able to see in there or not. But it's actually pretty, it's in bad shape. So I'm thinking that's what the problem is. 
I'll, look, I'll drive it for a few days, let y'all know if that clears the code. Hopefully y'all liked the video. I liked it. Leave us a like, comment, and subscribe.